What's going on YouTube? Um, one of the first things I came on YouTube and talked about and was quite passionate about was this whole idea that black women had started this trend of now liking dark skinned men. And some act as if dark skinned men were always, and not even in, but always equally <clears throat> as valued as light skinned men were. And this is like, it's false, man. You talk to any cat who was in their teenage years or <clears throat> in their 20s in the 80s and the 90s, early 90s, will tell you, like, yo, like, the light-skinned cast were still getting all the love, all the attention from black women. Why? Right? Because their hair was different, right? They just stood out, right? If they had a baby by this cat, you know, it would come out with the curly hair and all that other stuff, right? And this is all the stuff that they would tell me, and I would soak this all up. So now that I'm older, you know, I think back about it, and I'm trying to process it, and I'm like, why the change? Why all of a sudden do we have black women who act as though you know they've always valued dark-skinned men and um one of the brothers on youtube made a comment that you know i'm gonna start off with and he pretty much talked about how dark-skinned black men didn't come in the style so white women wanted us and that makes perfect sense you look back at the rise of dark-skinned black men and everybody's going to talk about it took place around the mid 90s who was at the top of the game it was michael jordan go back Right at that point in time, when right around he was going through his first three peat, <clears throat> um, he was at his prime. <clears throat> um, and now his prime, he was in his prime for a couple of years, but that's when he pretty much, in my opinion, just erupted. Um, at one point in time, the three most recognizable people on planet Earth were Elvis, Michael Jackson, and Michael Jordan. You can go anywhere, and everybody knew who Michael Jordan was. <clears throat> There's people who could not speak English. But they knew who Michael Jordan was. He became mainstream. Michael Jordan, you know, and I want to say Shaquille O'Neal. You know, I'm a Laker fan, so I'm kind of biased. Um, but it was men like him who kind of redefined the whole idea of the non-scary, non-threatening, dark-skinned black man, right? The more smart, refined, educated, sophisticated, stylish type of dark-skinned black men. He's the one that brought us out. He's the one that highlighted the whole idea of being tall, dark, bald, and sexy, and muscular, masculine. He represents that Mandingo complex, right? He made it fun. He made it friendly. He made it every day. So after white dominant society pretty much said that's what we like, right? Black women now want to act like they created that image. No. I mean, I even like to throw out Mackay Pfeiffer, right, in ER. Who's that show directed for? White people? There we go. That's the image that they want to see, but black women act like they've had this whole past of embracing dark-skinned black men and like this is what we've always wanted. It wasn't until other non-black women said that, yo, this is what we're attracted to, this is what we prefer, that now all of a sudden black women act like we're just bouncing and we're just, you know, skipping away. And honestly, talk to any, if you have any cousin, female cousin or friends who are younger, anywhere between the age of 13 and 19, they're still on that light skin stuff. Why? Because it's different. It's unique. I don't blame black women for li liking light skin dudes. It's unique. They stand out. Right? The same reason why brothers might gravitate towards a mix or light skin chick. If, she, if you walk into a crowd with other black people, she's going to stand out. She's going to have features that are just different. I'm not even going to go as far as to say to make her better, but she stands out. She's different. So it is what it is. But it really it really irks me that black women want to act like, right, they've promoted dark-skinned black men and we've, you know, taken this quote-unquote fame and now we've ditched them and said, yo, we're bouncing. So I don't know. You think back. Think about when black men were on the rise, right? Think about Michael Jordan. Think about Shaquille O'Neal. Think about... Uh, a different world and start to try to match up when dark skinned black men um, came onto the scene and how white America viewed dark skinned black men because they were the ones that brought us out, brought us into light, pretty much blew us up because they showed a different light, right? It's what they liked. So, anyways, take it easy. God bless.